all right you guys have asked for it and asked for it on the stream and i know i've done it once before but here is the official video for me reading out a story a, or a bedtime story for you guys so with christmas coming up very very soon yes this red light is coming up and makes me look weird like an evil character or something um i have gotten the request to read out something christmassy for you guys so one of them one of the requests was towards the night before christmas so Here's a story for you guys. So everyone just imagine it's cold, it's snowing, you're rugged up in front of a fireplace and you have your hot chocolate with you. So let's all get comfy. It was a night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash and tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The moon of the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves up before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. And as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist to his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger outside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, his team gave a whistle. Away and away they all flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. So that was the poem. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought, if there's anything else. Um, I think this would be my first story playlist slash ASMR kind of video thing. <coughs> if I sound really um, bad, it's because I'm still really sick. Um, but yeah, that was different. I've never um, had to do that before. And I think it's very sweet and very different that you guys um ask me and you like my voice so much to read you stories or to read things so um i'll see if i can do it um more often i hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah if you like the video please hit like and hit subscribe if you feel like it